Today I'm talking about my top three connections between bicycling and the big game. Welcome to the Mobile Cyclist Minute where I bring you cool news about bicycling culture in cities across the country. So after the big game, my condolences to the Falcons. Yeah, congrats to the Patriots. I got no skin in the game. So on to my top three. Number one, in January, host city Houston, Texas unveiled a new B-Cycle station adjacent to their downtown fan experience convention center and promoted free rides during the lead up to the big game. I've used B-Cycle in several cities, including right here in my hometown of Indianapolis, Cincinnati, and several others. They're a great way to explore a town or a city or beat the crowd to a professional game. Number two, Team Cities Boston and Atlanta have a growing cycling culture. Atlanta's Streets Alive program is hosted annually downtown and has 6,000 participants. And their Walk, Bike, Thrive program has the city pledging over a billion dollars over the next couple of decades, building more walkable, bikeable infrastructure and an amazing network of trails. Now Boston made the American League of Bicyclists top 20 this year. Their hubway bike sharing system is a huge success. With over 1,700 bikes and 170 stations, Something like four and a half million people have used the system since its inception in 2011. Coming in at number three, hats off to general manager of Falcons, Thomas Dimitrioff. He's a huge avid cyclist, has something like 15 bikes, and participates in Atlanta's annual Bike to Work Day and encourages citizens to do just the same. Well folks, there you have it. There's my top three connections between bicycling and the big game. Folks, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I travel the country looking for the best bike shops, events, trails, and of course the bike friendly businesses and bring them right to you. It's all about maximizing your fun and time on the bike no matter where you are. I'll see you next time on the Mobile Cyclist Minute.